Hello, music lovers and cultural explorers. Welcome back to Savvy. My name is Sam. Today, we're delving into a fascinating trend that bridges generations. The rebirth of vinyl in a digital age. Nostalgia or revolution? Vinyl records, once thought to be relics of the past, are spinning back into our lives with a vengeance. But why? Let's find out. Let's talk about the magic of vinyl for a moment. The tactile pleasure of flipping through records, the anticipation as you gently slide the disc from its sleeve. There's something irreplaceable about holding an album cover, absorbing the artwork, and poring over the liner notes and lyrics. It's an immersive experience that a digital download just can't replicate. Reading those long liner notes, getting lost in the album art, it connects you to the music and the artist in a way that's deeply personal and profound. This physical connection to music is one of the many reasons vinyl has made such a notable comeback. Another reason is the sound. Many music enthusiasts argue that the sound quality of vinyl records is superior to digital formats, citing a warmth and depth that seems to be missing from CDs and streaming audio. This preference is often attributed to the analog nature of vinyl recording and playback, which preserves the original audio waves without conversion into digital signals. As a result, vinyl can capture the nuances of music, subtle textures and dynamics that digital compression may overlook or alter. The physical interaction of the needle with the record's grooves creates a unique sound profile, including minor imperfections and a distinct richness, which fans of vinyl believe adds character and a more authentic listening experience. Beyond individual preferences, vinyl has also benefited from the slow media movement, which emphasizes quality over quantity and encourages more mindful consumption. In our fast-paced digital world, taking the time to select a record, place it on the turntable, and listen to an album from start to finish offers a moment of pause, a ritual that many find appealing. Let's hear from some vinyl enthusiasts and experts on why they think vinyl has made such a strong comeback. Vinyl records, I got a lot of Broadway vinyl mm -hmm. albums. I got all the Bee Gees vinyl albums. Yeah, I do. And what, what, what do you love about keep, keeping the vinyl alive? Just having them as, as, as memories and putting them away. I, don't... I just went through actually yesterday my collection. I have, I think about 65 vinyl records. Most of them are older. Uh, Frank Sinatra, there's a lot of Frank Sinatra. I'd say 20% of my collection is Frank Sinatra. Um, there's some classic rock, some police, some shins. Uh, I still have all of my vinyl. And vinyl is back now. Right, very Vinyl so. is huge. I and still, a, go ahead, okay. No, and, and, and a new generation, you know what I mean? I was going to say, I still got my turntable from the 70s. And so, Ralph, I've changed now uh, from eight tracks to iPods to vinyl twice. Okay. That sounds great, and it's great for the uh, younger generation to hear how music really should sound. Over the last several years, vinyl has become more and more popular. It's like, it's snowballing. It's like doubling the double the double. It's amazing, and I'm so happy about it. I'm gonna get that. This is the one I wanted. Mike Shinoda co-founded the band Linkin Park, one of the best-selling acts of the 21st century. All my first beats were sampled off of vinyl records. Late there was something missing in that experience. The album isn't just about the music. The answer lies in the way we express fandom. I think a lot of fans see buying things from their favorite artists as keeping those artists going. Hey guys, this is Michael from Opeth. I'm in New York City and we're shopping at Generation Records. Uh, I like that you treat music with more respect when you play vinyl because you put it on, you sit down, you wait for one side to finish and then you have to get up. So it's more of an experience. You know, when you play it on vinyl, whether it's new, I, for new stuff I got a rough trade, and you get new, all, all the new artists put their album out on vinyl first, which is great. Um, so you get that, and then you get the old stuff, and it all sounds so good on vinyl. And it's the ritual of putting it on, looking at the sleeve. The numbers speak volumes. According to the RIAA, vinyl sales in the US have not only revived, but thrived, 
seeing double-digit growth annually for the past several years and even surpassing CD sales for the first time since the 1980s. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the grooves of vinyl records. So, what are your thoughts on this vinyl renaissance? Is it nostalgia, the quest for authenticity, or perhaps the desire for a more tangible connection to music? Do you prefer the crackle of a record to the clarity of digital? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more deep dives into cultural trends. Until next time, keep spinning those records and discovering the stories they tell and remember. Stay savvy, my friends.